The third beta of iOS 26 has been released for almost a week now and it's a great update, especially when it comes to performance and we're going to talk about all that in a minute here. But first of all, let's talk about some more new features and changes that we have been able to discover with this update. Now with the third beta, Apple has actually made quite a ton of adjustments, especially when it comes to the liquid glass design. They have actually toned it down quite a bit in a lot of different elements on the UI of iOS 26 and of course you can see that this is still new and even Apple is still trying to adjust it and of course make it perfect but probably by the time it's ready for the public release it should be actually really great. So now let's talk about some more new features and changes that we have been able to discover with this update. And the first of them can be found under the settings. So head on to the settings app, go under general here and when you go to your iPhone storage you you probably have seen this before so you will have recommendations on how you can free up storage on your iPhone. Well you will have the ones for your photos and videos and now with iOS 26 beta 3 when you tap here you will see this and you will see your duplicates, your videos and the screenshots as well. This basically categorizing everything for you so you know much better what you're deleting if you want to just save space and of course find the things that you want to find easier that you want to delete to try to actually free up a ton of storage on your iPhone. Now when trying to select text or just move the cursor around you will see that this bubble that will actually zoom in and show you where you're placing the cursor and what you're selecting is actually much bigger. It makes it much much easier for you to see the text and see the cursor and know where you're actually placing it. On the messages app if you have a background setup like the dynamic backgrounds that you can find with the new iOS 26 when you actually now make a back tap reaction so if I just add a reaction there you can see it will give you that bounce effect or ripple effect or whatever you want to call it in the background of your messages conversation. So it's actually really cool you see it right there of course wherever you place the interaction or basically the, the reply right there that is the spot where it, give, it gives you that current effect. We have a few changes here on the mail app as well. First of all, you can see right here, if I go to all mail, it will say right there, all mail currently is checking. If I go to promotions, it will say promotions checking or up to date or whatever the case might be. Now you will see that the shape here of these like different buttons has changed as well with this beta. And also when you swipe like this, you will see these circles where you have three items and this will work everywhere on iOS, whether you're doing this like the swipe gesture on an email here or maybe you're doing on a song on a playlist that you have you know you can see well there are three items they will be circles but then if you have like one right here it will actually expand like this and it actually shows like a, a much bigger button if you have less items there so when you have three they show like this when you have more if they will actually be bigger and when you're on the lock screen or you're customizing or changing between different lock screens that you have saved, you will notice now that you have a much bigger reflection right here on the customize button. Now this is something that Apple has actually changed a lot through iOS. On different buttons on iOS you will have this reflection which makes it look really really cool of course with a liquid glass design. But again with this beta they have actually toned it down quite a lot on iOS and now it's more like frosted glass but hopefully they will bring back that full effect of the liquid glass design with the next betas and by the public release. Another thing that I really like about this beta is the buttons on the media controls are much clearer. So previously they basically had a lot more effect and it will like distort the video in the background. Now they look much much better and don't actually interrupt with your content and they even have like a tint on their background when you tap to actually see the control so it looks much cleaner and of course you can watch the video without any distractions. Now when it comes to these big beta releases, especially with a lot of new features and changes like iOS 26, of course the battery will not be that great. And this is the battery life here on my device with the last beta, beta 3 of iOS 26. It hasn't actually been that good so you can see. 200% battery, 7 hours 37 minutes, right here 126% battery, 8 hours 26 minutes. 
Now, this is actually like basically more fair because these days I've been using the navigation a lot, location services, and of course using like 5G all the time. That will of course drain the battery out of your iPhone. So this basically better represents what the battery life is looking like on iOS 26 beta 3. So when you basically take in into consideration that this is a battery that is actually at 90% battery health, it's not the worst ever and we're still on beta 3 and we'll have to wait a few more betas to see if this will actually improve and be a battery that you can actually use all day long. As I said, the battery is not the best ever, but take a look at this. This is the best ever. This is the best score I've gotten on the iPhone 15 Pro Max since I bought it with iOS 17, 18, and now iOS 26. Just take a look at this score right here. This is with Geekbench 6. The multi-core score at 7,602 compared to beta 2 isn't quite a good increase right there. And we have also a very small increase right there on this single core score and when you compare to the first door like the first beta right here you can see how much it has actually improved and what's really great is that it is actually improving with every beta and by the time this is ready for the public release you will have a really really nice performance on your device and not just the score overall using your ios 26 on daily basis will be much smoother with beta 3 a lot of like freezes glitches and all that have been fixed by apple and of course now it's probably the time they start doing this start focusing on battery life and making adjustments especially to the liquid glass design you can expect a lot of changes within the next few days so what to expect next from apple and of course ios 26 well currently we're on sunday this is july 13th and i would expect the first public beta actually to be released as soon as tomorrow and that will be july the 14th that in my opinion will be the day that apple will release the first public beta of ios 26. this is what they do usually a week after the release of the first beta they have always released the first public beta so i don't expect this time to be much different so I expect tomorrow to see the first public beta of ios 26 now i would actually just stay away from it maybe like a few days more until we get a second public beta because it's not the best ever time to actually just download it on your device especially if you have just one daily device even though the performance and the stability is quite good the battery life actually not that great so you might want to hold on on installing it on your daily device for a couple more weeks so then the fourth beta of course will most likely be the 21st or the 22nd of july and I'm expecting Apple to do that again this year, actually go with another beta after a week from now and then two weeks, another beta. And then from then on, from the fifth beta and on, they should go on a weekly schedule where they will release a new beta of iOS 26 every week, of course, until the public release. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, smash that like button. And of course, subscribe for more videos like this. I will keep you updated with everything you need to know regarding iOS 26 and of course the now the new public beta that should be released very soon and everything else you need to know. So again that is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.